Hello world and welcome back to Palooka Zoo of yours truly, Rhino29 and welcome back to Gaming News, the show where I talk about random upcoming popular games, give some general information about them and possibly some thoughts about it. Alright, for those who want to read the tiles these days, I'm going to be talking about the Master Chief Collection. What the Master Chief Collection is, is that it's going to be the first Halo game, or should I say games, on the Xbox One. So it's going to be very exciting. Finally, Halo is going to be on the Xbox One. We've all been waiting for this. The, what 343 Industries are doing is that they are putting all four Halo games, so Halo Combat Evolved, um, Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo 4, all onto one disc, alright? So this is a really, really cool and really interesting idea. The fact that they've managed to put all four games onto one disc is really just phenomenal. I mean, I was expecting to have maybe, I don't know, all four games, but on their separate discs, in the one cover maybe, but uh, I would never have thought of putting four games onto the one disc, so I'm really excited for this, and I'm sure many Halo fans are excited for this too, especially the Xbox One players. Right. The Master Chief Collection is set to release on the 11th of November 2014, so it's in... T just over two months from this recording, two months and two weeks or something. I don't know, I didn't do the math. But anyway, it's coming up in about two months, and it's an Xbox One exclusive, um, mainly because all four games are already on the 360, and in, since all games are now focusing on next generation, so Xbox One and PlayStation 4, there's going to be a wolf, couple... There's gonna be less games for the 360. There'll still be plenty, but they'll just be they'll just miss out on a few exclusives. But yes, so what they've done is not only have they put all four games onto the one disc, which is really just amazing. Um, they've also upgraded all the games. So what they've done is that they've made um, Halo. Yeah, sorry. What they did is that for all four games, they've upgraded the graphics. And the frames per second. Um, what they did is that they've now made all the games 1080p graphics, and they get it all run at 60 frames per second. So for Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 2, Halo 3, it's gonna look absolutely amazing. Um, Halo 4, there will still be like a slight difference, but it won't be that noticeable. Um, Mainly because Halo 4 is a fairly recent game. So Halo Combat Evolved is going to look absolutely phenomenal. Halo 2, um, this I think it's this year, is its 10 year anniversary. So I'm sure many Halo fans were expecting a Halo 2 anniversary game like what they did with Combat Evolved. Uh, what they're doing is that they are doing that, but it will be in the Master Chief Collection. So rather than making a separate game, it will be part of it. So that's a really cool idea. I'm not sure whether they will do it for the Xbox 360 um, at a later date. Like, I kind of hope they do. I think it'll be a good idea for those who don't have the Xbox One. But um, in the meantime, it will be part of the Master Chief Collection. So that's going to be cool. Halo 2 is going to get a major upgrade. The other really cool feature in the Master Chief Collection is that they are going to have all original maps. So we're going to have Blood Gulch, we're going to have, because I know with Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, I know they got rid of a few maps or something, that or they mixed it with Reach or something, I don't know exactly, but they did something and a lot of people weren't happy with it. So yeah, that's going to be really cool, we're going to have all original maps, and I believe with Halo 4, I'm not sure about all the other games, um, since Halo 4 ain't getting that much of an upgrade, they get to unlock all DLC maps in the game. So that would be really cool. So all, all maps will be available uh, for free. So that's really cool. Like, that's a really cool feature. Um, so my thoughts about the Master Chief Collection. I am really excited for this. Mainly because, um, well, now that I have the Xbox One, I still have my 360. I'm 
it's kind of weird going back to the Xbox 360 after playing Xbox One for like an hour or so, just because it's such a difference. But um, the fact that we're gonna, I'm gonna, that we'll be having all four games on the Xbox One is gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm really looking forward to that. So and rather than buying all four games, uh, for the Xbox One, it's just gonna be one game on one disc. And you can also just, like switch campaigns like halfway through, so you can like finish a mission, exit, uh, go to the main menu, then play Halo Two for a bit, and then stop, play Halo Three, stop, play Halo Four. So that's a really cool feature. I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, I'm excited for this. I reckon it's gonna be great. I can't wait for Halo Two um, anniversary on the Master Chief Collection, mainly because I haven't played the second one yet. But with the upgraded updated graphics, FPS and all that, it's just going to be amazing. So, I will definitely be playing all four games again. Well, all, f well, three or four since I played the second one. I will be playing the games again, but I reckon the best bit is that, um, since it's going to count as, like, a separate game, so that means more achievements, which is really cool. So, yeah, I'm really excited for this. I reckon it's a great idea. 343 Industries are really doing a great job with the Halo franchise and Bungie did an amazing job obviously signing up and all that but 343 Industries just really expanding the franchise so really looking forward to that and apparently in the Master Chief Collection they're going to have the um, Halo 5 beta I'm not sure whether it's just going to be a multiplayer beta or not but either way it's beta for Halo 5 so I'm really looking forward to that I th think the only way to get it is to pre-order it though um, the Master Chief Collection. So if you're gonna do that, I go do that now. So overall, I think it's gonna be an amazing game. I'm really looking forward to it, and yeah, I just can't wait. I mean, two months will go quick, but still. All right, so that's my thoughts on the Master Chief Collection. Hope you enjoy. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe it does help. And let us know, or let me know what game I should do next, and all that.